Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a different location. Um, I am in the attic room of my house. Um, so the sound might be a little different, might be a little quieter. Um, I do notice there is this faint air conditioning noise, so I hope that's not bothersome. Let me know. Let me know. Um, but yeah, today I thought I would just kind of catch up with you guys and show you this Bob Ross painting set. I'm gonna unbox it. Um, I got this a while ago from one of my awesome friends that found me through YouTube, um, Matt Co. So thank you so much for sending me this. Uh, the reason I haven't opened it yet is I got this a little bit before uh, I moved, so I went ahead and packed it up in a box and was like, okay, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to unbox this and use this once I get settled down. Well, I've been moved into this house for almost a year, and I, I uh, just found it recently, so I remembered I still need to make a video about this, which I'm excited open this because I'll have more painting gear for this project I'm going to be working on. So when I was in high school, I was in art class. I always took art and I, I still like to draw and paint. So in my art class in high school, we had this weekly assignment in our sketchbook. We had to complete so many pages. Um, so first couple years of art was just a normal, you know, hard book, black sketchbook. And then when we got to level three and four, uh, you progressed to a canvas, co canvas covered sketchbook. And then your main assignment at the beginning of the year was to actually paint your sketchbook. Okay, so you'd paint the spine, you'd paint the back, you'd paint the front. I really liked it because the whole sketchbook was just more unique and uh, it was hard to lose, kind of, because everyone's was different. Um, so yeah, I really liked that. So me and my best friends decided to do like a, a sketchbook challenge together. Um, my best friends, they live quite far away from me, which is very sad. I make an effort to, we may, we both make an effort to you know, stay in touch and see each other, so I love them so much, and um, one of them, her birthday is coming up, so I'm going to be going to visit, so I thought that I would order some sketchbooks and draw each of us, like I wanted to draw uh, our face on each sketchbook, so I have four be honest, when I ordered this, I only, I was going to only order one canvas sketchbook and it was supposed to be bigger. It was supposed to be normal sized a sketchbook, so a little bit taller, about this tall, a little bit wider, um, but this is just, just kind of like a medium sketchbook, but it worked out fine because it did come with four different ones. me, and then there's going to be three girls that are going to be celebrating this girl's birthday. So, I thought I would draw on each of them, paint them up, and give it to them as a surprise. So, um, after I sketch our faces or whatever and have it all laid out, I thought about making another video actually painting them. Um, don't hold me to it, though. I, for some reason, I love doing art in like a certain zone that I get in. So when I'm filming it, when I'm filming myself doing art, I don't know if it will take away the experience. Um, or if I'll like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a weird thing to explain, but I'm gonna try to do it. I also wanted to say that someone on my Patreon, one of my Patrons, um, 
suggested that I should do some art and put them available for purchase on my Patreon. I've thought about it quite a bit, um, so I might do some custom arts for people. Uh, someone wanted to buy my Steve Buscemi art, and I, I just can't bring myself to sell that one, but I am open to make more and different things. Um, so if you're interested in that, it'll, it'll be coming up sometime this year on my Patreon, hopefully. Um, but anyways, yeah really excited about these. I'm hoping to get started on these um, within the next couple days just because my trip is in a few weeks and I want, I want time to really spend you know, making them making them really nice and precious so, let's go ahead and unbox that Bob Ross kit now there's all kinds of to wrap on it, so, and I don't have any, like, I don't think I have any knife or pointy thing by me to open this up, so just give me a second here. This might be a little crinkly. This is TV's favorite painter, Bob Ross. Um, some people say he is the, um, the uh, ASMR creator, or the god of ASMR, or the, um, the person whom they've gotten their first ASMR experiences from, just because of how gentle he is with his art techniques, how soft his voice is, just his sweet and calming mannerisms, I guess. Uh, I can watch Bob Ross paint for hours and just, you know, soak it up for the relaxation. Um, I've never actually tried to follow along on one of his paintings, but he definitely inspires me to get out my own sketchbook and start painting something of my own. Um, back in the day, I know my mom and dad got a bunch of paint stuff and they put an episode of Bob Ross on and they tried to mimic a painting that he did. They said that it was near impossible for them and it never turned out good. Um, but you know, one day I might try myself. They said they had to keep pausing the um, show, the episode. They said they had to keep on pausing it and rewinding it just to see what he was doing. So perfect. Okay, so this is a 16 piece set. Landscape, land shaft, paysage. Oh, those are the Spanish versions. I was like, what? what is that? I never took Spanish in high school. I probably should have. Um, but, you know, I was too busy taking art. This is the master paint set. There's all kinds of different things. I'm really excited to open it up and see what all is in here. So opening it up, this is what it looks like. All these little paints, and they got Bob Ross on them. We have titanium white. These, the name of these paints, are very iconic in the show. He says them quite often. Um, let's see. Here is, let's see, Theo Blue. That's another one that he says a lot. Sap Green. Van Dyke Brown. Midnight Black. Let's see, there's Bright Red. Azarian Crimson. 
and cadmium yellow. brushes. They're very nice. This is a one inch, 25.4 millimeter brush. Um, the handle says one inch landscape and then it has the Bob Ross logo and his face on that. If you, I don't know if you can see. I am using natural lighting today. I'm not using my ring light or anything. Um, the air just shut off, so that's good. Um, but I know I'm not using any ring light today. I'm just kind of doing things a little bit different today. So, I'll just brush the mic. I also took the mic cover um, just to give it more of like a crispy sound today crispy sound so let me know if you can tell a difference or if you like it better with or without the mic cover okay next I think these are some of the coolest kind of paint brushes um, I love these I love using these kind makeup as well. Um, makeup brushes that are shaped like this. They're just so elegant looking. Um, this one's a very long handle. Let's see what it says. Bob Ross, number six fan blender. I love these. outside and enjoy the outdoors a little bit more, go on some nice walks, do some yard work and things. Um, it was rainy for several days the last few weeks, um, so I stayed in. I did a lot of indoor things. I stayed in. Um, I almost painted a couple walls downstairs. I want to paint my dining paint that. I want to paint a couple other walls. I want to do some like accent walls and stuff. So I've been in the painting mood, but I'm waiting for it to be like a rainy week again. That way I have an excuse to kind of stay indoors and do some indoor projects. Let's see what this next tool is. I see him use this a lot and I'm so happy I have one of these now. Um, it's the Bob Ross Tin Painting This is why he scrapes the paints on his canvas with and kind of just smushes them together. Then he mixes them, he splats, 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 splats them together. Kind of just, it's so cool to watch. Those are one of my favorite um, scenes in his episodes. This one he's carving the paint. a tiny little thin little paintbrush here. Number two, script liner. So this little outlines of things. Little, little tiny, little tiny thin paintbrushes. I love using tiny paintbrushes for detail paint work, um, especially if I'm doing like, eye colors and stuff. I know Bob Ross never really painted faces. He'd always do portraits. Lots of skies, lots of 
lakes and snow and just the beautiful sceneries, mountains and things. I like painting people. I like painting faces and um, so these come in handy. Really good for me. This brush it smells really nice too. each one of these tubes of paint up so that you can see. Now I'm not sure if the color is going to come out exactly like um, the label is or not. Usually paints that I've experienced don't. The color is always a little bit off than what it comes out. Zigzag, or not, not a zigzag, but like a ripplage, a ripple effect. I like that. Titanium white. Um, sap green. We have the Van Dyke brown. And then we have the Midnight Black. Okay, so that was all that was in the top portion of the box. Then it also comes with a DVD. most popular Bob Ross uh, wet on wet painting technique plus paint mountain summit step by step with Bob Ross 60 minutes all regions full screen multi language um, so that's cool you get to paint along with Bob Ross if you'd like which I will definitely do that one of these days when I'm here a master paint set it says everything it comes with here all the different paints and brushes and things it's a whole guidebook a whole guidebook on painting 
what to start out, how your paint, how your canvas should start out, and then each step that you can take. He makes it look so easy. He really does. But now it goes all into detail. It explains what you need to do each step. Everything that came out of the uh, Bob Ross kit. Um, like I said, I want to do some paintings um, once I get these all sketched up. That way I can not rush through them or feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> I feel like when I'm videoing myself doing art, it comes out differently somehow. I don't know. But once it's all actually sketched up and ready to be painted, I have no problem filming the painting portion. I'll use these Bob Ross paints um, and show you guys that. So I think I think we'll enjoy that together. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back soon with more. Have a great day.